hi everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the next video in the uipath data service series where we are going to see how we can do the bulk operations on the data services in this video we are going to see how we can insert a complete data table to the data service how we can delete multiple records from the data services and at the last we are going to see if we have some condition and based on the condition how we can update multiple records to start with the bulk operation so I have an excel with me so this excel is having the data for Avengers so the excel has three columns character what is the real name of the character and when the character has joined the Avengers team so this is the data I have picked it from Wikipedia so the task is I want to put this entire data in the data services so I quickly go back to the data services I create a new entity I call it Avengers next I create three fields the first is the character this would be of type text it is required it save next is the real name I create one more field real name it's required type text and the last one is joined in create new field joined in and seems to be of type text required save so I have created the entity Avengers let's go back to the UiPath studio create a new sequence and I call this one bulk upload create next thing is we should have the entity available in the UiPath studio we go to manage entities hit refresh and I just select the Avengers entity the, and the plus indicates that I'll be importing this entity to my UiPath studio hit on save okay let's go back to the project refresh the project and and now I can see we have the Avengers entity available so the Excel the Excel data Excel is available inside the sample data entity okay so the first thing is we should have to read the Excel so I go ahead and take a read range of workbook and I'll point it to data.xlsx the Excel file is available in the project folder so no need to provide the path and the sheet name is let's quickly verify the sheet name I go back to the project open the Excel go back to the sheet name and the sheet name is Avengers okay I want to read the entire data hit save go back to the properties let's store it in a data table say dt underscore Avengers do we have headers yes we do have headers now to add the data to the data services we can go to the project drag and drop the Avengers master entity and we have to insert the data so I can go ahead and select the create entity record okay so the entity is already selected now input record is of the type record so I hit ctrl K and I'll just put it in a variable called input record and the variable again and the output variable again will be the input record now let's quickly test this flow and see whether if you are able to get the data or not I put a debugger here I'll close this Excel and debug let's go to the locals and in the data table I can see all the data is available so this flow is working fine next step is I have to fill this entity with the input record and as we have seen the input record is a single entity so what we have to do is we have to iterate the data table in the for each loop so for that we quickly go ahead and take a for each loop so we take the data table for each row and we specify for each row in the DT Avengers okay so now what we are trying to do is we are creating this input record entity one by one okay so for each row in data table of Avengers we are going to take a multiple assign and we are going to create a record so this input record is already created so let's see if it is available here okay input record dot now which value the character the character is available in row of what is the header name the character is character okay and it is of type string so dot to string we can always verify the type by opening the data entity field like this so it is of string okay so the next one is input record dot actual name or the 
real name so that real name is available in row of so if you don't remember the row name we can directly specify at like this also dot to string and add I'll just type in put record dot joined in so that is row of third row row of two dot to string to keep the consistency let's edit this one also to the row of zero so what we are doing here is for each and every row from the excel we are creating one input record so the input record is ready so what we have to do is we have to put this thing inside the for each row because it will every time because because it will every time create the record and then it will insert in the entity okay so let's go back to the uipath data services go to the avengers data it is empty as of now i'll do one thing i'll put a debugger here breakpoint and dt avengers let's see we have checked the address checkbox let's try to debug the file okay so we have encountered an, an error and which says cannot assign the row of zero to the input character record so why this error so if i go back to the sequence so this is because we have not initialized the input record entity so what we have to do is we have to initialize this input record entity so as of now it is null so we have to assign it first assigning means when i say assign i have to create an instance of the input record entity and then only we'll be able to add items to it so i go back to the main solution and i add an assign activity just before the multiple assign and i name it to input record is equal to new of what type the entity type avengers so what i have done here is i am telling you ipad that input record is an entity which of is of type avengers and please make an instance of the record so that we can insert the object into the input record okay now let's put a debugger here and let's try to debug the file again okay the input record is initialized step into okay we were successfully able to execute the input record let's go to the locals so this is the input record and if you'll see the first input record for avengers is created the character is correctly assigned the created by and the created time is set to the default values it will get updated only when the create entity is executed and this was done let's try to go to the create entity record okay it seems like we have completed the first entity let's go back to the data services and verify that one i go to data refresh and the first character from the excel is available here so before continuing i'll just stop this flow okay so now this is the flow now what will happen if i completely run this process it will insert all the data from the excel to the data service so now let me just quickly go ahead and delete this guy delete now the data service is again empty i go back to the webpath studio and now this time i say run the file what is executing execution is completed let's go back to the data services entities avengers data hit refresh and i can see all the data which was available in the excel so this is how we upload the complete data table to uh, data services the data table can be from a web application we can just extract the data from any of the web application we could have directly extract the data from the wikipedia and put it into the data service so this is how we insert a complete data table to the data service now that we have just seen how we can insert multiple records to the data service entity let's try to update multiple records in the data service entity so let's say tomorrow event just decide that now the thor and the hulk role should be given to me and now we want to update the real name from thor thor Audition and dr robert bruce banner to my name so let's say how we can do that in uipath studio we go back to uipath studio i create a new sequence i call it update entity hit create 
I verify whether the Avengers entity is available. Yes, it is available in the project. To update and record, we have an activity which we call the update entity records and the input type. Okay, so this is the query entity record, wrong one. We have to pull the update entity record, this one. And it expects a single record. Okay, so I just confirm the entity it's avenger and i'll hit ctrl k and i'll create a variable let's say record update same thing the output variable will be record update now how will we know that which records to update so we have to update the record where the character is thor or hulk so for that let's quickly go back to activities again and take an activity which is called query entity record in the query entity record we select the entity as avengers and now coming to the query the query is we want to have the records where the character is equal to thor and i will add one more row character equals hulk let's verify hulk and thor okay and this will be or okay and i want to store the output records in a variable call let's say record update so record update is a single variable okay so it would not take so i will hit ctrl k i will give it a list of records okay so now let's put a debugger here let's try to run this file and see what we get in the list of records okay so i go back to the activities the locals and the list of records now i have two items in the Avengers list okay so these are the two items I want to update so now how do we update every record so for that I have to take an for each activity so since this is of type list I can go back to the variables and see this is a type of list so what we'll do we'll take an for each activity and this time it will not be of data table it will be the normal for each under the controls and the list would be list of records now the list of record we have to convert the type argument from object to the avengers entity okay and this is done now what we have to do is for each item we have to update the value right so we take an assign activity and we type here item dot real name now we want it to be cache color so what will happen is for all the records which are available in list of records ui path will update the real name to mukesh kala so if i go back once i execute these two names should be updated to my name okay and i want to update the entity record so now now i'll just pull this inside and now the record item will be item okay and this would be again item okay i'll remove the debugger so let's just try to understand the flow once again we are querying the entity record we are telling ui part to fetch the record where the character name is thor or hulk it will give me a list of records so list of record will have these two records from the entity now next we are telling ui path studio that you iterate both the items in the list and for both the items you update the real name to my name okay let's try to run this flow run the file okay the process is executed successfully let's go back to ui path data service so now the, this is the name i go back to the entity again avengers data refresh and now the both the records that is a thor and hulk are updated so this is the way how we can use the uipart studio to update multiple records in the uipart data services so this is how we update records in the uipart data services now let's say because of my exceptionally poor acting skills avenger had decided to me fire me from the team and now we want to delete these records see avenger do not want to have hulk or thor in their team so how we can we delete multiple records in a data service let's go back to ipod studio 
so for deleting the records we have an activity which we call delete entity record so if you'll see delete entity record expects record id but as of now the record id is this one so we want to fetch this thing dynamically so i go again so this is the list of record so once again as we did in the update we again query the records and we type the query as the character name is equal to thor or hulk this gives me two records now i iterate both the items and now instead of the updating record and updating this guy i will just put the delete entity record inside it and this expects the record id so i will type here item dot id okay it is giving me an error because i have not selected the entity let's try to understand what is happening here we are querying the entity avengers and we are telling uipath to get us the record where the character name is thor or hulk so uipath will give me these two rows of records here and now we are iterating again since the output is a list of records so we are iterating it with the help of the for each and in the properties it is selected to the type argument of the avengers type okay and then for each of the item we are telling uipath to delete the entity record where the id matches the list of record id okay let's save this flow and both the records are still available we go ahead and run the file the execution is completed let's go back to the uipath data service as you can see both the records are still available because we have not refreshed let's go back to the entities avengers data and both the records for hulk and thor are no longer available in the uipath data services so this is how we use the uipath data service to delete update multiple set of records so that is all for this video i'll wrap this video here if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation